Well, good morning, everyone. Um, it's a nice day. Started some work on my Rover 14 engine yesterday, so um, I'll just give you a quick explanation of what I'm doing. Um, when I first had it, I just pulled the engine out of something else and got it running. It was fine, so I just used it. And it's been used for about a year. So uh, what's going on at the minute is um, I've got the head off. I knew the head gasket was leaking a wee bit, so I took the head off and yesterday I discovered that one of the bolts uh, had been replaced. Uh, this one here um, had got the wrong bolt, it got stood in instead of the bolt. And what had basically happened is the thread had been stripped and someone had bodged a repair. Now, I spent a fair amount of time yesterday drilling that out, retapping it, putting an insert in and re-threading the insert. We were dreaming it get all in line, so that's now done. Um, I've got the head apart on the bench, um, which looks in pretty good nick actually. Some of the valves, I'm surprised they were seating really. Um, I'd not touched it, I just put it in, ran it, and it's been fine. Um, and apart from a bit of sootiness from it running on choke, they're all good, but. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the seats are a bit ropey. So uh, I'm giving a bit of a once over just to make sure it's all good. And I'll put the head back together. I might give it a skim. I'll have a, I've got a milling machine, not sure what fit on the bed. I'm not sure my milling machine is big enough for that, but I'll check it all out for flatness and see what's going on with that. Uh, so at the minute, I'm processing recutting the valve seats and lapping them in and, and just cleaning the valves up generally. Could do some new valves, but all the seats are good and the the stems are good, so the bits that matter are fine. There's the bits that uh, are a bit rusty and cruddy. As to the, the faces that don't actually do anything, you know, they're just just there. The, the seats are all good. Um, a while ago, I regrand my my rockers, um, and these are all good. Uh, it's been a good few hundred miles since I've regrand those, and I thought I might get some slight indentations because obviously the hardening's now gone. Um, but when I did them, I polished them up and everything, and they're really good. So I'm very happy with them. They've lasted really well. So I'll just be putting those back on. Um, I think also, while I'm at it, I'm going to pull the pistons up. Um, because the bores are a little bit, a bit shiny in spots. So I think I'm going to pull the, the pistons out, which means removing the sump, taking the big ends off. Um, unfortunately, the, the big ends won't come up through the bore, so you've got to... If it's in the car, I've got to bring up the piston, remove the grudging pin, drop the piston, the, the conrod down, and the piston upwards, and then I can get the, the honing done of the, of the bores and check out the piston rings and things. So, and, and so far, it looks like these are standard size pistons. I've not found anything on there that says they're, they're over bore, which is quite a surprise, but uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll let you know on that one see where we get on but uh, anyway basically today my job is to complete the work on the cylinder head and get that into a state at which i can get it refitted so i've basically got to finish the valve seats I've, I've done half of them with coarse paste i've got the other half to do and then do it with fine paste and then give it all a good flatting a good cleaning get it all washed down make sure there's no bits of grit and crap in there and then uh, that's all ready to go back together. Something else I found when I took out the head bolts, um, I had four head bolts, but I don't know if you can see that. The threads have been stretched. So you see the, the threads are parallel there. They're quite badly stretched. But luckily I've got some spares and the spares are slightly longer. Um, they're off something else. Off another rover, but uh, I think an, an earlier rover. So the thread comes to the right length, so I'll just stick them in the lathe and take the end off and uh, make them the same length as the originals. And then hopefully they'll be as, uh, as good as. And of course, I've replaced that very badly made um, stud that had been put in. I don't know what it's made of, but it certainly wasn't anything half decent. It was all bent and twisted when I uh, took the head off. And by the time I got the damn thing out, 
it'll end up snapping off, have to drill it out. It's a real pain in the backside, but actually, it's a job that needs to be done. So uh, that's all tidied up now. So that's me for the day. Uh, busy, busy. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes on. Cheers, bye-bye.